Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. It is now time to finally clear out this room here and the, oh no, no, not the grammar, not the grammar. See those red ones give you damage, just like I said in that other part, if they grab onto you as well as stunning you. Um, remember that washer right there, um, because it, it contains something that you definitely want. Um, in fact, you need it to complete this game, and that's, I believe, Mario's glove. Um, and you need to show out to Madam Clear Oil later. Ow! Don't do that! And uh, maybe I should have picked up my pocket change before I tried sucking this guy in, but oh well. And that should clear the room. Here we go. And now there's a boo in this room, of course. Um, shake this up. Let's see if I can find it right away. Boo ball. Come on, man. That is a cheap imitation. I don't want any of that. Um, you can pull off these towels if you want to. Yeah. Like the hat. Um, can I shake that ceiling? Oh, I got something out of the bucket there. Um, what the heck? There we go. There we go. It's Boogie. We are going to the disco with this ghost. Woo! And that's 12. And Egad is, of course, going to butt in. But uh, his butting in is okay because it gives me a save prompt. And what the heck? Anyway, did you ever notice that, like, when you open up a treasure chest, it looks like you're humping it? It, it just looks like, eh, oh, oh, yeah, oh, 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 yeah, I'm gonna put this in the keyhole, oh, yeah, yeah, you get the idea. <laughs> anyway, shake this up, and, oh, it's Mario's hat, not his glove. And it's been laundered, well, that's very kind of the ghosts there, it's all nice and clean, smelling great, like tight and downy all at once, and I believe I shook all the things I can in this room to get loot, uh... Yeah, wait, 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 I see a cabinet up here. No, I guess I can't, can't get anything over there. Okay, so let's leave here. And where's my next destination? The dining... No, not that's not it just yet. Um... This, oh, wait, the next, the next room is the music room. That's right. Uh, this room is pretty cool, actually. You're gonna see why. Uh, first off, I love music. Uh, game music, uh... <clears throat> but this this room is especially cool because it's a, it it gives you like if you well first I'll, I'll, I'll explain it here there's a girl at the piano here um, well not right now um, but there's going to be a girl at the piano there but once you shake all the instruments uh, listen And each of those instruments are uh, a part of the classic Mario song there. All you have to do to activate them is just simply tap them. And uh, that there's a horn over there. And is, the, is she over there yet? Ah, uh, yes she is! Okay, there we go. This is the next portrait ghost. Her name is Melody! Uh, no relation to uh, Melody from Wind Waker. She's not a bird girl. Anyway! Yes, I would like to listen to your piano sonata. In case you didn't realize, that was a song from Mario 3. Um, that was the underwater uh, song from it, so say the water. Woo! So you have to have a little bit of Mario knowledge to get that question right, or you can just guess at the question. Um, if you fail, you have to try it again. Anyway, yes, I would love to do battle with your lovely music sheets. Anyway, uh, you have to suck in the music sheets first, and then you can uh, uh, stun her. Oh, shoot. Uh, then you can suck right onto her, excuse me, with uh, the vacuum cleaner. Well, the Poltergust 3000. There we go! Woo! Let's do this! And she's a lot harder to get than other ghosts, because, or at least other ghosts up to this point, because there's a lot of stuff in this room that can uh, prevent you from getting her in one shot, but luckily I managed to get her. See, if she ever bumps you into other things, you have a chance at uh, getting broke off from her. Anyway, let's just shake some of the stuff in the room and see if there... Oh, there is a boo in this room. I can definitely tell that. Because the boo rate is going off. Ooh, I, I almost missed that pearl there. Um, anything with the drums? I'm close. 
I have to, do I have to actually bump that? Oh, it's Boomio! Boomio and Juliet! Come, oh no 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 no, oh, no no, you almost attacked me there. And I got you! Woo! And I shall send you that boo. And now I will open the chest and, uh, I believe you can start up that song anytime you want to again, so it's pretty cool to come back to this room and listen to that neat, uh, uh, instrumental melody of a classic Mario song. Yep, just as I thought. Woo! Anyway, I should, uh, I should just shake some of the stuff in this room and then leave. This room is too much fun. As I said, I love music and game music in general, so... Yeah! Just saying, um, that, that key, as you've seen, led to... <laughs> leads to this room right there. It's at the, uh, middle of that hallway there. So all you have to- ow! Wait, wait, I want that my pocket change back, and preferably some mice. Even though mice don't give me anything, I just want my revenge. Okay, this is the door you want to go to next. This is the dining room. You'll notice that there's a lot of banana peels around here, yeah. Um, first I should mention, there is both a blue ghost and a uh, cheese mice in here. The blue ghost is in here, if I'm not mistaken. There we go. Gimme! Woo! There's also a good amount of treasure that you can find inside that uh, that um, cabinet that I opened with the dishes. And uh, that guy over there is the next portrait ghost that I'm going to be covering. I need... Well, I don't necessarily need that, excuse me. Um, but what I need to do actually is suck in some of that meal there. See that? That guy right there, that incredibly chubby guy there, is an optional ghost. His name is Mr. Lugs. And what you want to do is... Oh, shoot! I do need the fire, excuse me. I didn't think I needed the fire here until I seen the candles there. You have to light up this room here, and then you'll be able to see him. Then start sucking that in a little bit, and now you'll see some waitress girls here. Um, see, the, the way that you need to get him is that you have to, um, you have to get rid of his food so he stops eating and then he'll be, ex his, his heart will be exposed and then you'll be able to collect them. To get those waitress girls to appear, you just have to suck in some of that food. Oh shoot, and then they'll appear over there. Um, oh wait, I need, I just need to stand over here for the other waitress girl. There we go! Woo! I don't know the names of those ghosts, I just call them like waitress ghosts or waitress girls. And those are the only two waitress girls that uh, you can get. So then just start sucking in his food here. Uh, you'll be able to tell when you're sucking in food when you can see like yellow dots coming from his food like that. So just keep sucking at it like that and eventually it'll disappear. Come on. There we go, that's better. Strangely, no matter how much he eats off it, it won't disappear on its own. That makes absolutely no sense. Come on! Come on already! <laughs> You're not supposed to stop it and then start sucking it again. Oh wait, there we go, there we go. I guess I just had to wait a little longer. Let's try it again. Alright, there we go. I guess you have to stop sucking and then start sucking again. Whoops. And now he's gonna get really ticked off now. And you'll notice that he shoots those fire things at you. Uh, what you want to do is grab those fireballs, if I'm not mistaken, and... Wait, wait, I thought I had to... Oh, wait, wait, never mind. I thought I had to shoot his fireballs back at him. But you, what you actually have to do, my mistake, is wait for him to stop shooting his fireballs there, and then he'll get himself all tired out. Uh, any day now. And then he'll be vulnerable, and then I can shine my light on him, and he'll be exposed. Eventually. Or maybe I have to light the torches first, maybe? I just want to make sure. Um, oh, he's, he's tired now. Oh, I should have did it on the other side of the table. Well, it doesn't matter because his pull is really strong and he's going to knock you off anyway. But he's definitely a portrait ghost that you want to get. He's got a pretty nice treasure uh, once you defeat him. So uh, every time he shakes you off, just uh, wait for the cycle to end. I should say, I should say start all over again. And... Uh, uh, oh, there we go. I should say, wait for him to get tired again, and then start sucking him in again. Ooh, he's in a good position now. Nothing in my way, but I still got knocked off him. Dang it. But I will try and collect as many of the pearls as I possibly can, even if they aren't worth all that much. Uh, this time, I'm going to try to get on that side of the table, and 
you know, when he gets tired, then rush up to him and uh, shine my flashlight on him. Yep, four fireballs will do it. And here we go. Let's try this again. This is a lot better than last time. He's still gonna shake me off, isn't he? No, he's not. Okay. Woo! I got a little bit too excited there. Okay. <laughs> um, he's a pretty tough ghost to get because of his, because he is really the first one that directly attacks you like that. So it's not something that you're used to at this point in the game. As you can see, there's a boo in this room, so I'm gonna scour this room really, ooh, really quick for him. Is this it? Is this it? Boo ball, dang it. Um, no, no. Well, let's just open this up. There is a white diamond in here. Get that white diamond immediately when it comes out before it disappears. That white diamond is worth two million dollars. You definitely want to get that. Also, make sure you get all the pocket change that pops out of there. And, come on, where's the boo? Where's the boo? Where's Waldo or Walboo, whatever? Oh, now I'm making boo puns. Curse this game! Okay, well, here we go, here we go! And it's Boodacious! Oh no! And he is going to be inside my vacuum soon enough! Woo! Oh no, 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 no! I forgot something in this room! I forgot a cheese mouse in here. Um. The cheese mouse that you can find uh, is underneath this one of these chairs here. There's the cheese right there. But as I said, you can only find it in uncleared rooms. So I guess I'm going to have to come back here later in Area 4 to get that gold mouse. It's not really much. It's not really, like, out of the way. So I guess it's not that bad. And I'll have to walk down this hallway anyway. So, uh, continuing on into this room. Do not open the refrigerator just yet. Um, what you want to do is wait for all these pots and pans to stop flying in midair here. Um, because there's an, a blue ghost in this room. So, make sure that you get all these pots and pans here uh, before you attempt to get the blue ghost. Because they will definitely knock you off your hold on the blue ghost and you'll miss your opportunity. And there we go. Uh, there's a fire door, or I should say a flaming door. Uh, and I think that's all the pots and pans I can get. That, that flaming door basically indicates I'll be getting the water element. Um, in the dishwasher here, shake it. And there's a blue ghost. Get it. And suck it in like that. Woo! And, uh, wait a second. The kitchen. Um, yeah, there's... I just remember, there's a random gold mouse in here. Um, when you, right when you enter the door, there's a random gold mouse that might appear from this side of the room and walk to the other side. Oops, I want that heart, please. Thank you. Okay, now, if you want to just get this room over with, just shake the fridge and then uh, get the ghost that's in there. It's an ice element ghost. But anyway, that trigger point's right at this door here. Just wait around until you hear a jingle. There's no jingle. So just keep repeating this until the gold mouse appears. Uh, I'll probably cut forward. Here we go! I guess I didn't need to cut forward after all. Let's just suck right here. Yes! Awesome! Get that emerald right away. Ah, oh, dang it, I feel so stupid for missing that uh, cheese mouse in the kitchen. I was, I was prepared for that too. Because I was like, when I when I entered the room, I was thinking to myself, man, I have got to get that. Oh, well. I can get it later. But just keep in mind that there is a gold mouse over there if you uh, uh, take a picture of that, or I should say ping that cheese there with your Game Boy Horror. Uh, so you can get that yourself. So I guess I technically did cover it. Uh, and you have unlimited tries at getting that mouse as long as that room isn't clear. And there we go. Now, open the fridge here, and an ice element goes to appear. Oh, I should have just shook the uh, uh, fridge from a distance with the vacuum cleaner, or open up 3000, excuse me. And that's the only ghost in the room. Uh, if it, when that door swings open, I forgot that it does hurt you. Um, later on, when you get um, the ice element, you can get ice element ghosts from the refrigerator over here. Uh, I'm going to be getting the um, water element uh, metal from this chest right here. But here's a little Easter egg here. This stove over here with the pot in it, if you heat it up, you'll get a, a red, a ruby, I should say. I was going to say red jewel there, but I'll just say ruby. <laughs> and uh, that about clears this room, except for the boo, which I have to find. Is the boo in the dishwasher? Yes, the boo is in the dishwasher. I guess he needed a cleaning. 
So, uh, oh no, you are not going to get away from me. Oh, you got away from me. Well, I guess this is a good time to explain it. When a boo leaves a room, just follow it into that room, and you'll have another shot at getting it. Sometimes it'll go into a room that you can't access right now, so you'll have to get to it later. Uh, but that's sometimes unavoidable. Just, But just keep in mind where the boos are, and on which floor, and you'll never lose track of which boos you need, you, which boos you need to get. Or I should say, which boos are left. Basically, a boo will never ever leave the floor that they're on. Uh, but they'll... And they, they will never go into what they call the sealed room. I'll get... I'll explain what the sealed room is later. We're gonna have to get into that way, way into uh, area four. But I don't believe they ever go into the sealed room, I should say. Um... Uh, now that I got the water uh, uh, metal here, I think that's about all the time I'm going to have in this part. Uh, so I think I'm going to cut it off here and then start explaining what that water elemental metal does in the next part. So I hope you enjoyed this part and I'll see you in the next one.